to. I call the parliamentary secretary. Uh, thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. Uh, well, the member is absolutely right that there is a very strong community sentiment throughout regional and remote Australia about the need for improved <coughs> mobile coverage. And I've certainly had the opportunity in the member's own electorate, as well as in some 40 other electorates around the country, to meet with Australians who are very frustrated about the fact that the previous government kept talking about how much money it was putting into the national broadband network, but seemed to have its hands over its ears when it came to the question of improving mobile coverage in regional and remote Australia. So much so that, extraordinarily, it was the policy under the previous government that NBN Co was discouraged from engaging with the mobile operators to consider, for example, whether NBN backhaul could be made available to mobile operators to increase their uh, penetration into regional and remote Australia. Uh, and there was uh, very little going on in terms of co-location of mobile uh, base stations onto NBN fixed wireless towers. That was the policy of the previous government. Well, as the member has rightly highlighted, the coalition has taken a very different approach. And we took to the last election a policy commitment to spend $100 million on improving mobile coverage in regional and remote Australia. And since, since coming to government, the minister has asked me to uh, take responsibility for this program, and we've been working through it in a uh, uh, speedy but methodical fashion. Uh, we issued uh, guidelines late last year after consulting extensively with both the industry and with the community. And one of the things we did was we went to Australians and said, please nominate locations around the country which you believe have inadequate mobile coverage, locations in regional and remote Australia which do not have mobile coverage and which, in your view, need it. Now, we had some 6,000 locations that were nominated and that were established on a public database. We then said to the mobile network operators, please come forward with your proposals as to which of those locations would be ones that you could cover with a new base station. Tell us how much you will spend on that base station. Tell us the total capital cost of that base station. Tell us how much money you want out of the government's fund. Tell us whether you've been able to secure funding from co-funders, such as, for example, state governments, uh, even local councils and, and private businesses. And I'm pleased to say that, as has been uh, publicly announced, a number of state governments have made funding commitments. For example, the New South Wales government has committed $25 million. The Western Australian government has committed $35 million. And indeed, the Victorian government announced shortly before uh, submissions closed from the mobile operators that they were committing money as well. So where we're up to is uh, on the 19th of April, uh, that was the closing date for the three mobile operators, uh, Telstra, Optus and Vodafone, to submit their proposals. Uh, they've given us uh, the list of base stations where they would propose to build and provided the information that I specified before. We're now going through a process of determining which base stations will be funded uh, in accordance with the guidelines. We are on track to be able to announce the results by 30 June this year. I apologise.